In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create your TikTok ads account and all these settings that you need to know about. I'm also gonna be going over how to set up a TikTok business center, which is something that people often get confused about on if they need a TikTok ads account or a TikTok business center. I'm gonna be explaining that all in this video today. So the first thing that you will need to do is actually create a TikTok ads account. And in order to do that, if you Google TikTok ads, it'll take you something like this. Or if you click the link down below, I have a link that will take you to this view right here. I update that link with whatever the current offers that TikTok has on when you're signing up for a new account. So you can see right now, one of the offers that they have is get up to $100 in ad credit when you create a new account. So be sure to check out that link when you are signing up. You can see these are the terms and conditions of this particular offer. So be sure to check that out. This is one of the ones that they're running right now. They rotate through these offers. So just know that this may not always be the case. It may be a better offer. Sometimes there may not be an offer, but I'll keep that link updated down below. So this is where you actually go through and create your TikTok ads account. So we're going to click on here and give this an email. We're going to blur this all out. I'm going to just put in my email and then you create a password here and then you can click this box right here. You can also sign up just with TikTok account if you wanted to, but we're going to hit continue here. It's then going to ask you to confirm your email. So we're going to grab that real quick. Once you confirm your email, it will ask you for your industry here. So you can go and choose one of these drop down menus here. This is just for a demo. So we're just going to choose one of these here. We're going to call this demo one, two, and then it will ask for your mobile number to confirm that this is all blurred out here. And then the company website that you can put inside of here. And then if you click this little drop down right here, you can customize your account a little bit more by setting the time zone. You want to do that in the currency and the state, the billing region that you are in. Then we're going to hit click here and then get started. This then will take you to a view that looks like this, where you do need to accept these terms and services. So we're going to accept that. And then you can see in this top right hand corner, this is where that little coupon will show where it will show you the eligibility there. And you can see the status of that particular coupon. You can see all the different details there and the expiration on that. So keep that in mind. Now, as you can see here, TikTok has automatically dropped us into the ads manager platform. Like it's basically saying, Hey, you're good to go start creating your ad. But before you do that, I do recommend setting up a couple of different things and getting a little bit used to the layout here. So up here is where you will have different options for your dashboard dashboard, your campaign and tools right here is we're going to want to come over to the account setup and click on that and then just exit this page right here because we want to set up a couple different things before we start running ads. So here you will want to provide your state and province and then you will want to choose your payment method. There's automatic payments or manual payments. Most people I recommend running automatic payments. Basically you give TikTok your credit card and then once there is a bill to be charged, it just runs that credit card. If you run manual payments, then you have a specific threshold that you say, hey, TikTok, you can only spend a hundred dollars. And then once it hits that hundred dollars, you'll have to manually pay that before you can start running your ads. This can really affect your ad performance if you forget to make those payments. So whatever you want to do, it will work, but I mostly prefer to do automatic payments. Then we're going to hit submit here. So once we select the payment method that we're wanting to do, it's going to ask us optional business verification. In my experience, I would have always 100% do this if I'm running ads from the account. You can see this will help build trust with TikTok, increase your account safety, and also aggregate for performance metrics. So it's going to basically make your account less likely to get banned or flagged for like stupid reasons. So I would recommend going through and doing the verification here. It takes just a few minutes if you Click you verification info. It will take you to the page that looks like this, where you can just answer these questions and upload a couple different things to get verified. I would highly recommend it before you start running ads inside of your account. Now, once you have all this basic information filled out and your billing set up, one other thing that I do want to bring to your attention is the brand safety hub. If you click here, this is something that might may or may not be important for your brand, but I do want to make sure you know that this exists in case you wanted to choose the inventory filter that you want to show up for. And basically, what this will do is it will make sure that your ads don't show up next to things that are super violent or strong sexual content, different things like that. You can optimize your ads to make sure that you're not showing next to that kind of content. Most of the time, I just recommend keeping with the standard inventory, but if you wanted to go with the limited, then you could really make sure that your brand is playing it really safe, so to speak. Or if you wanted to go the opposite end, you can go into the expanded inventory, but most of the time I just stick with the standard here. And then if you wanted to customize that even more, you can see additional controls here that you can opt out of specific content categories or vertical categories that you could opt out of as well. So now I'm going to come over here and hit save and we have successfully saved into those content types. The next thing that I want to show you is basically the difference between the TikTok ads manager and the TikTok business center. Now, if you're ready to run ads, you could honestly just come over here and hit campaign and start running ads. Now at this point, you will need to make sure that your advertising account is approved. It usually takes around 24 hours, but you can start creating those ads by clicking create here. But I do want to show you how to set up a business center in case that is something that you're interested in for your business. And honestly, I'd recommend most businesses do that in order to get to business center. What we're going to do is we're going to hover over this left-hand side. And you see right now we're in ads manager. We want to come over here to business center. Now, once we click on business center, it's going to ask us a couple different questions. Questions, but before we jump into that, I want to basically show you the reason why you would want to set up a business center. The thing that gets a lot of people confused is they ask me, hey, do I need to set up a TikTok ads account or a TikTok business center? And usually the answer is both because they both do very different things. A TikTok business center, basically you could look at it like an umbrella that houses all of your different assets related to your TikTok. Basically, you can see it houses your TikTok ads account, your TikTok accounts, like your organic accounts where you post videos and things like that. You can manage user permissions, you can manage pixels, catalogs, and your audiences as well. So when people say, 
hey, I only want to get a TikTok ads account. I don't really want a business center. I would generally recommend just setting up your business center anyways, because you're going to want it for all these different assets and housing those assets. So now that we have that out of the way, let's actually go back over here and let's describe what we are. For me, I am going to say that I am just a advertiser here, and then it will ask you a couple of different questions. So go ahead and fill out those questions about your business and then hit create here. And now you can see we are in the TikTok business center. If I wanted to go back to my ads manager, I can hover over here and click that and it will take me to my ads manager. But I want to walk you through the setup here inside of TikTok business center. The first thing that we can see in here is the analytics and the specific accounts. And what we want to do is make sure that everything is linked inside of our account. So this is where we can see specific account metrics if you had everything running and ads were running. But right here is where you can add and remove users. So if I click on this, you can see right now there is me one active user right here. I'm the admin. If I wanted to add another member to this account, I can click add member here. It will then ask me to add their email address. And then from here, it will have you assign a role, whether it's admin, standard finance, or financial analyst. And then you can save and then it will send them an email. That person can then go through and accept the email from there. Now, once you have all of the users added to your account, the next thing we want to do is actually connect all the assets for our business under the umbrella that we talked about right here. We want to get our TikTok ads account linked up, our TikTok account, and then pixels and other assets like that. So in order to do that, we've come over here to accounts and they've actually changed the way that this looks a little bit. In my opinion, it's a little bit confusing. So I want to walk you through it. So this is where we can actually add our specific account. It's going to ask for the industry again for your account here. I think we did like shoes and supplies or whatever. We're just going to put whatever here though. And then the contact name for this person. So for me, it's going to be Corbin White. And then from here, it's going to ask for the contact email and then the phone number here as well. Because we already own this account, we're just putting in all of our own information again. And then it should automatically submit it or it may have us go through and manually request it real fast. So once we fill that out, you can see we either can create a new advertising account or request access to one. We want to request access to one that we just already created and we want to have admin here. And then this is where it's going to ask for the account ID. So in order to get this advertising ID, what you want to do actually is click over here, just cancel real quick and then go back over to your ads manager. Once you are inside of your ads manager, you can click on this little drop down right here and it will show you a number right here. It's blurred out right now, but you can grab that ID and that's the ID that you are looking for. Copy that and then you can come back over to your TikTok business center. Make sure you have admin. You can then request access to that account. And because you already are the admin, it will automatically approve it there. And then now you have access to this account. And this is a little bit confusing for a lot of people as well. Now your business center has access to the account, but you need to add yourself as a user. You can see zero users inside of here. So what you want to do is add a user to this account. You can either click here and then add individually. Or what I like to do is come right here and hit assign new member. You grab the specific user you want to add and then give them this specific permission and then hit confirm there. And then that user or yourself in this case has admin access to this ad account through your business center. I know it's kind of a weird process, but trust me, you're going to want to do this, especially as your business scales up. Now, another important thing to link to your TikTok business center is your actual TikTok account. In order to do that, you just click request access here. You can request add delivery permission or manage business account. If it is your specific TikTok account, I'd request manage business account here, then hit next. It's then going to give you these little steps to go through and follow to request access to that account. That's going to allow you to run specific posts as ads directly from your account without having to get a QR code for each individual one. And the next thing you will want to set up if you are running e-commerce is your TikTok shops. If your TikTok shop isn't already created, you can click the button right here and add that shop. If you don't know how to create a TikTok shop, I have a full tutorial running it through how to create a TikTok shop. But once that's created, then you can click add shop here or request access to a partner shop if you wanted to go that route. And then it will walk you through the instructions on how to add that. You can select a specific shop. For this email, I don't have access to one, but if it's under the same email, you'll be able to click it and it will have access there all in one place. And speaking of e-commerce, one other crucial thing that you will want to connect to your TikTok business center is over here in the assets. If you click on assets and then catalog, this is where you can add your catalog to your business center as well. Doing this will make sure that when you are running ads, everything is talking to each other and all the data is being shared throughout those catalog. On top of that, this is where you can add a pixel. If you don't have your pixel set up, I have a full tutorial on how to do that as well that will walk through how to set up a TikTok pixel. You can add the pixel here and then you can either create a new one just directly from this spot or transfer the pixel. If you aren't sure what a pixel is, you can check out that video that talks about it. Basically, it's a piece of code that will keep track of the data and the metrics for your ad account that is really, really important to have when you are running your ads. And then going along down here, post, this is actually a new little feature inside of Business Center. This is where you can actually set up a calendar post if your TikTok account is connected here, where you can schedule different things out and schedule posts and you have your publishing right here as well. So that's another little feature if you are doing a lot of posting organically on TikTok. Finances is where you can look at the finances and then activity log. This is nice. You can look to see all the activity that you've done or other users have done inside of the account. And then finally in the settings here, this is where you can change the profile picture, the name of the account. This is where you can see your ID right here. And then you can see your account health, which is really helpful if you are doing anything that's violating TikTok's terms of service and it will show here and you'll status. And then here's where you can set up like your two-step verification, your allowed email domain,
domain list and then other little things that you can do inside of there. As I mentioned, if you're now ready to start running ads, you can click here on ads manager and then it's going to ask you to go to your specific ads manager account. We click there and then this is where it will then take you to the option to actually start creating your TikTok ads. And that is everything that is to it. If you are ready to start running your TikTok ads, I recommend checking out this full course right here. This is a full TikTok ads tutorial that will walk you through everything that you need to know. 100% free course. I don't try to sell you anything in it. So hopefully you find that helpful if you're ready to take the next step and start running your TikTok ads.